stocks hitting record highs. Should you be worried? Something that was in the news today, and I wanna talk a little bit about it. Let's take a look at what stocks hitting record highs actually means. Well, we always look at number one when we're talking about stock market prices and pricing is what the stocks are selling for compared to the earnings, because that's what you get when you buy stocks, the rights to the earnings of the companies. Now, determining whether they're high or not, uh, one of the ways that people like to do that is looking at PE ratios, price divided by the earnings. And what I want you to notice behind me is this chart looking at large, small and medium sized companies and historically they're really not high compared to historic norms. Now if we look at international stocks we see pretty much the same thing. They've been much much higher in the past and over the periods of time that we're looking at over here yeah, the returns have been quite admirable for stocks in general. So looking at them and going are they really high right now? Are they destined for a fall? Eh, we wouldn't really say that. And we look at the stock market, you may have heard me say this before, but they're always hitting highs. The market was at a high here, and then it was at a high here, and then it was at a high here. So the market's always hitting new highs. If we look at stocks compared to book value, the assets of the companies, we do see that large US stocks are higher than other asset categories. A lot of asset categories though are at or below book value and the earnings to prices are fairly low. You know, the prices compared to earnings are fairly low over this column over here. So we don't see anything unusual. Well, when should you worry as an investor? Well, number one, if you're holding individual stocks, that can be a real problem. You're taking uncompensated risks, as I've talked about so many times before on these videos. If you or your investment person is moving things around based on recent history, you know, if you're looking at five year, 10 year track record, well, this hasn't been any good over five years or 10 years, that is recent history. If you're starting to move things around, it is market timing and it is chasing returns or chasing performance, a big problem for investors. If you have a short time horizon and you don't own high quality fixed income, that can be a problem as well because stocks can and will go down. So you need to have high quality fixed income you can draw on when the stock market does go down. And finally, if you're concentrated in a handful of stock market segments, that could be a real problem because you never know what's going to do well next. That's why we diversify. So when to worry? Well, when you're not doing these things right here or when you are doing some of these things that I tell people watch out for.